So it's time for me to do another DIY project. I came up with this project to kind of save a little bit of money, but also to get something in my wardrobe that is missing. I don't have any clutches. I think I have like two. So I wanted to do something that would be cheap and easy you know I'm like yes I will hand sew but I don't have all the time in the world to hand sew and I, I do have a sewing machine but this project you really don't really need a sewing machine just you know the basic needle and thread kind of thing will get you through so first thing you're going to want to get is some placemats these ones I found at Walmart, $1.99. They're the circle ones. You can find these just about everywhere. Target has them too. Um, again, $1.99, super cheap. You know, I headed to Marshall's. I found a couple there. I found this one and one of the other ones that I will show you in further in the video. Um, they were both, one was $1.99, the other one was $2.99. So again, dirt cheap. And this one I found at Bed Bath & Beyond. It was on clearance. Somebody returned it. I got it for $2.98. It's kind of like a fake leather, if you will. And then it does have like a material lining on there too. So in a nutshell, I will use these placemats to make a clutch and actually expand my clutch collection. And in turn, I hope I inspire you to be creative and go out there and do this project for yourself. For this one, I'm starting now with a circle placemat. And the first thing I'm gonna do is fold it in half. So it'll kind of be like this. It'll kind of look like a taco, more or less. Measure out six inches from the corner to the edge. And I'm going to pin that so that it will hold together. So, and then I'm going to do the same to the other side. Tape measure, measure out. Make sure it's nice and flat, six inches all the way to the edge. I'm gonna take another straight pin and push it through both sides so that it will actually hold it into place. Right, gone ahead and threaded a needle. Match the thread to your purse, of course. Now what you want to keep in mind is that this side of the purse, is, or clutch I should say, is actually going to be what everybody sees. So you're going to want to start sewing actually from the inside out. So go ahead and kind of open the purse at the top part. This is the top part. So you're going to pick which side you want to start at. I'm going to start on this corner. And I'm actually going to go all the way to that corner and only push the needle through. I'm going to get as far down to the bottom as I can and actually push the needle through that one side. So see there it is already coming out and basically just going to pull that on through. Okay so you have that first spot where you came through with the thread. What you're going to do is go right back where it came through and you're going to have to push it through both sides. Now this could be tough depending on the material that you're using. Especially some of this weaved stuff is pretty stubborn. A maybe a little thimble or a push, push thing will help push the needle through. So you basically just pull it back through. Now you're on the other side. You're going to want to go a little bit higher. Just a little bit higher than where you came out and push it through there. So push it through. Pull it on through. Now you're on the other side. And you're going to want to get as close to where your thread came out and push it back through. Once you do this side, you're going to want to jump over and start on this side. Basically do the same thing and sew it all the way up to this point and stop. All right, I've gone ahead and sewed both sides. So now at this point, it's got this gaping hole at the top, which I could leave alone if you really want to and you would just kind of basically carry it like that. But I think I'm going to put a clasp on here. So what I've done is I've started to put this little chain clasp on. It has uh, two little chains and then like a little barbell right there. And all I've done is basically put it on the edge of the bag and kind of just sewed a couple of threads around it to kind of hold it in place. 
see here's my thread and my needle so all I did was just kind of basically put the needle right in the little hole of the chain and push it through so that and pull it through and then just kind of keep going around like that and pushing it through so that I'm basically sewing the chain to the bag and you're going to want to end on the inside so you can cut the thread and tie it off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight across and add this piece on the other side so it'll be the little loop and the little barbell and that'll be my little closure thing so you could leave it open if you wanted to or you could use something else like maybe even a ribbon or a, a brooch just put a brooch on the top of it to be the closure you know it's up to you how far you want to go with it all right starting off with a rectangular placemat this one is really interesting it kind of has a fake or a faux leather weaving detail on it um, it's pretty nice so the one side this will be my outside that people actually see and this will be my inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically kind of fold it into thirds if you will see so there's part one and then I'm going to bring this down now I'm going to decide I think I'm going to go with a little bit of room I don't you could bring it all the way down to where that there's, you know, the flap is basically right there. But I think what I'm going to do is give myself about an inch of space on the bottom because I like to see that little bit of room right there so that you know it's a clutch. So that's what I'm doing. I'm folding her down kind of and way this material is it kind of lines it up for you so it's a little easier now what I'm going to do is open it back up and it's really nice because you have this pretty weaved material and then you actually have a lining on this one and I'm gonna line it up real good and I'm just gonna go ahead and start pinning the one side down so that it doesn't move just be really careful when you're pinning because you are going through a couple of layers of material. Okay, I've gone ahead and threaded a needle. I tried to find some thread that would match this as close as I had in my collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing. So now what you want to do is, again, start from the inside so that this little ball of thread that's actually the end will not show on the outside so people can won't see it so I'm gonna go ahead start on the inside of the bag and get as far up into the bottom corner as I can push the needle through and just kind of pull her through and all right so I've already done the bottom first stitch so what I'm going to do is kind of use the pattern on this material to kind of basically use as my sewing guide so this is the actual inside of the purse or the clutch you know this flap will fold down and hide it so nobody will be able to see my actual sewing so what I'm going to do is start by going up one square right here and then push it through pull it on through now on this side I have to be very careful because this side people will see so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go right back in where the thread came out and push it on through now I'm going to go up one more square and I'm just gonna go in between use the squares as my guides okay as far as finishing this one off as you can see the material is heavy enough that it just kind of holds itself closed so don't think it really even needs anything if you wanted to you could put a piece of like velcro right here to or even a button if you really wanted to to keep it closed but I think it's heavy enough that it just kind of stays closed on its own so it's basically done this one was like super easy. I'm gonna start out with a placemat. 
This particular one has a really nice checkerboard pattern going on. It's got uh, some really cool like wood slat detail and threading detail. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to decide to basically put it in thirds. So I'm going to fold it on over like that. And with this particular one, I want the flap of the purse to actually come all the way down to the bottom. Since this one has the wooden slats in between it, I can't exactly pin it into place. So I'm going to be very careful and just kind of eyeball the position that I'm starting in. So here is basically the inside of the clutch and I'm going to go ahead and fold it open. And I'm going to use the panels to be kind of like my guide. I'm going to start right here at the very bottom and then push the pin through, pull it on through. And I'm going to go right back in where the thread came, pull it on through. I'm going to basically jump up one square and I'm going to go ahead and push the needle on through. So with this particular one, I have to go in between the square panels where the thread's at because it's not material, so I can't exactly push the needle through wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and if it's lined up really good, it'll actually go through both sides, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the needle on through. And flip it back to this side. Find where the thread came out and basically go right back in through it and come right back out on the inside. Okay guys, so here it is, my finished clutch.